Hello everybody, Steve Politi, Keith Sarge, and James Kratz here at SHI Stadium. Uh, victory for the Scarlet Knights, 48-21. Down 21-7, 41 unanswered points. It was a convincing victory, it didn't start well. Do we have a quarterback? I think we have a quarterback. We have a quarterback. I think we have a quarterback. McLean Carter was better than advertised. And, and we, I don't know, could you expect him to be that good? I, I expected him. We saw glimpses during, during training camp, threw a pretty good deep ball. Leadership offense had a little bit of a bounce in this step. I mean, he was better than advertised. Yeah. I thought he played well. He threw three picks. Yeah. And two of them were in garbage time, yes, but they were kind of inexplicable throws. The throw early in the game really put them in a hole, set up UMass go 14 nothing. So I think he played really well, but they have to be careful and get to a point where you need him to not basically be turning the ball over as much as Art did last year, which is looking a lot better doing it. Like, that's not really path to success. There's so much more to playing quarterback and you know you're right I mean you are where you are with get the numbers but leadership I mean what did you see yeah, from no, leadership I, I, standpoint? I exactly when they're down 21-7 I mean the weight of the entire program is on this kid's shoulder. Yeah. If he has a bad game and they lose this game I mean we, I, it, you can just knock over a hundred dominoes about the bad things that are going to happen. You know Chris Ash gets fired the 150th anniversary is a disaster I mean let's just go on and on. Uh, so for him to be show poise in the situation he Clearly went to the sidelines, according to Tyshawn Fogg, and rallied the, rallied the groups. I mean, little things like that matter. I think it doesn't matter as much as his accuracy, which I, I really liked. I like the fact he had a nice deep ball. You know, let's see, it, let's see it against Iowa when there's a pass rush and when there's decent cornerbacks. You know, UMass was bad. Yeah. I think we're good. We need, we need, I need to see it against a, a, a real defense. Yeah. No, I agree with you. And, yeah, the offensive line obviously played well, and it helps mm-hmm. him have a running game. And Bo Melton was – Phenomenal. Yeah. We've been waiting for how many times have we said, when is yeah. Bill Melton going to break out? He had that game, had a couple of really nice catches in deep ball. Uh, and the defense, I like what, what happened there. I thought when they had a couple of busted plays early on, but made some adjustments. They cut out this little short passing game that UMass was using. Uh, I think they were caught off guard by the pace of UMass. And Andy Booz for his performance it wasn't bad. There was a play, Bo Melton, everyone's going to focus on the, the, the uh, big plays, but there was a play, I think, it, on that first drive where they're down 14 um, nothing. And he catches the ball. I think it was third down, mm-hmm. third and long. Caught it in traffic. Caught the ball. Got hit. Held onto the ball. Yeah. First down. Mm-hmm. You know, everyone's gonna talk about the big plays, <coughs> and, and rightly so. You know, the touchdown was a thing of beauty. The helmet came off. That's right. but that was a huge play in that right. game. Uh, and obviously, we knew the strength going into this game. The two running backs. They were both brilliant. I love the way uh, John McNulty used uh, Blackshear in this game, and the, uh, as mostly as a pa- passing target. And Pacheco, I mean, you wrote about him. You know, he's an easy to root, root for guy. Yeah. And there was a play in the fourth quarter where he bounced off, uh, bounced off a defender, and then just stiffed arm another kid for ten yards. I mean, he is just a, he's an elite running back. Yep. I know. I, they played well. They won a game. They broke the losing streak. At, at critical. But I just go back to last year, Texas State. They won a game. They had some flaws. People kind of overlooked them. We saw what happened. I think this. This team was more impressive against UMass than it was against Texas State, but I can't really say anything until we see him against Iowa. Right. For Carter, for the defense, those big runs were a big issue last year. Mm-hmm. Um, too many personal fouls, I gotta clean that up. Offensive, like big time pass rush coming their way next week, so I'm gonna say hold everything, be happy you won the game, but we don't know much until next week. So the non refundable take a dive off for Pasadena, <laughs> probably, probably not, yes. not, not a good not. Yes, I would not about. bank on the Rose Bowl yet. But we're going to the Little Rose Bowl, which oddly is in Iowa. There's a high school stadium with the Little Rose Bowl. I drove through it. Road trip to Iowa. Looking forward to it. We'll be there. We'll be in the podcast uh, next week. Subscribe to nj.com slash text. Rutgers Sports Insider. That's all from uh, SHI Stadium. Thanks for watching. I'm going to say that very slowly.